Hello, my beautiful YouTube herd. Welcome or welcome back to the fourth part of the series, Coaching Your Writing Clips. Featured in today's episode will be Olivia Equestrian, Jenny Scott, and Cinnamon Equestrian. As I said in the last video, I will be coaching and reviewing these clips in the order that they were submitted to me. So if you're not in this video and you weren't in the last, don't worry, you are not being left out. Please be patient. These take a while to make. You'll just be in an upcoming video. Some of you with keen ears might have noticed that my audio sounds a little bit different, and that is because I actually got a new microphone for recording my voiceovers and for recording on vlogs for you guys. So I hope that you can hear the difference and that you enjoy my new updated sound that's a little bit less nasally. If you'd like to submit writing clips to be in an upcoming video, please follow the directions here. Go to my channel and go on the community tab. Scroll down until you find the post called how to submit for coaching your writing clips. Make sure to read the entire description and then go ahead and leave me the link to your video and the answer to your questions right here in this thread. With all that being said, let's get into it. You are now being judged. Our first student today is Olivia Equestrian, who does jumpers, has been riding for two years, and lessons about twice a week. All right, so Olivia, I see you are about to go into your canner transition. It does appear you're on the incorrect diagonal, so being on the correct diagonal definitely would have set you up for success a little bit more. I'm seeing that you need a little bit more pace you need a little bit more canner, but I'm loving that you are on the correct lead and that really helps you out in that rollback turn here. I liked your number of strides to that fence and to this fence, very good. I did see that you needed to land on the right lead, however, so that might have improved your time. So landing on the right lead would have set you up much better for this fence and you probably would have had a lot more time to count strides and make sure you didn't chip. Again, your pony just needs a little bit more go. I can see that they landed on the incorrect lead, so this is your simple change. However, if you wanted to improve, you could really tighten up that simple change to a two-step beat of trot and then back into your canter. I did, however, love that fence and this fence. It looks like you really counted your strides and kept your pace up lots better than before. Great ride. Now I definitely wanted to comment on this two stride as well because it was excellent. Your pony even landed on the correct lead even though you guys did end up breaking right here. It was very good. Again, just keep your confidence up enough to keep that pony going. I actually did think you were finished with the course at this point but you are going to the rollback turn, so having a good canner into that might have just improved it a little bit more, but you did end up getting the correct amount of strides. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe in your submission comment, you also said that you did win first place for this round. So you know what? Excellent job, great ride, and congrats on winning first. Just keep that confidence up and keep that pony moving forward. Our next student in the ring is Jenny Scott, who rides Hunter Jumper, has been riding for eight years, and lessons once weekly with three or four practice rides in between. All right, Jenny, I see that you and Brown Sugar are at a show, and it looks like you're going to do a Hunter course. So for Hunter courses, I would definitely like to see that canner in your circle start a little bit earlier. The whole purpose of that circle is to establish pace and rhythm and show the judge that you are very under control. However, I did like how straight you are to this fence, although you did end up chipping, so just don't forget to count your strides a little bit better. 
I liked that you did your lead change in the corner. That was very good. That is what I like to see. And I like that you are maintaining the same pace around the ring. Good setup for this fence. Doesn't matter that you're on the incorrect lead because you actually do switch it here. Even though it's better to land on the correct lead, switching it in the corners is still just as acceptable in hunter classes. Little bit of a long spot there, but you didn't chip and fixed it. Excellent job with that. And you are on the correct lead, which I like. Coming around this corner, since I have viewed this clip before, I know that you chipped right there. Also looking back on this clip in super slow-mo, I can see that you leaned very hard to the right on this one, which is what caused your pony to change leads, even though they were originally on the correct lead. So instead of woeing, you should have pushed and went for the long stride again. You're switching your lead, which is perfectly acceptable, although still better to land on the correct lead. I still like that you are maintaining that same pace all the way around. And I do remember in your submission comment, you did say you were supposed to go right back down to the trot. Excellent job and love the pat pat for your pony at the end. The last student we have in the ring for this episode is Cinnamon Equestrian. Cinnamon Equestrian is run by Gabby, who rides Hunter Jumper, has ridden for nine years off and on, only lessons occasionally, but has two to four practice rides a week. So immediately in this clip, I see that you're on the correct diagonal, which I can always appreciate. I remember in your submission comment, you also mentioned that your bouncing heels are a maintain cue, otherwise this pony tends to slow down. However, since Hunters is somewhat judged both on equitation and on how well you and your horse go together, that might not be the best sort of cue to train if you're going to continue riding hunters. If you do want to continue riding hunters and be slightly more competitive, you might want to consider training a different cue for your horse to be their maintain cue, such as carrying a crop, using spurs, or squeezing with your legs and getting them to move more up under themselves and track up in order to maintain that pace. Moving on to the jumping portion of these clips, Gabby, I love your straight approach and that you landed on the correct lead in between these fences. I love your continued straight approach to that second fence, but right here you should have pushed instead of wowing to make it a little bit longer of a spot instead of having that chip. Right here, it does appear you're on the incorrect diagonal, so in a hunter ring that would count against you. However, I like that you're using the space you have available to you, and overall, very good ride. That's all for this video, my herd. Again, thank you so much for watching, and remember, this is just for fun, so take everything I say with a grain of salt. Remember, it helps our horses to work off of pressure and release, and it would help this channel if you pressed and released that like, comment, and subscribe button. Until next time, bye!